uh all right guys so welcome back to the channel today we are going to be looking at battlefield of chaos and doing a strategy guide and with the latest update that we got they did improve the gem uh the gem stats which is even more important because now we can actually make our characters stronger right so we've had an a boost on all of the stats and all of the gems which makes it even more worth uh, trying to get in the game. So as you can see with our gems here, currently I have everything like uh, stacked out, but these are all like level one and level two gems. Some places I have level three, but the goal is actually to get all of them up to level four. <laughs> so we're actually going to be doing a guide on like the strategy that I use when I'm actually going through these so we can actually like submit it and we can get some new codes so if you're actually new to the channel you can actually if you support me in the partner program i can actually give you three uh new codes so after making two more videos i will have four four codes in total and if you aren't already supporting a different creator you can support me and i'll actually give you some codes to get some free stuff free stuff like essence stones and so on all right so I was a little disappointed last night because I actually went to crafting. I've been farming these gems for months. And last night I actually did some, not crafting, I was in fusion, right? I actually did some fusion last night. But mainly I've been saving to see if I can get some level 4s. And I spent like over 600k and I didn't actually get anything. So the, the important thing about this, right? Even that that happened because I had to you had to fuse all of my level ones to get level threes. Or these are level level ones to get level twos and use the level twos to get level threes and level threes to get four, right? We all understand that. So the problem was that uh I spent a lot of money and I didn't get it. So the important thing now with the new Battlefield of Chaos system in our most recent update is that now we now have a mileage system where if you complete uh if you keep uh, doing this challenge like daily you will have a mileage system based on how many times you did it and then when you actually reach the end this is pretty much like when we have our character event stuff going on every time you do it for like let's say five times you will get a, a blue gem or a level three gem to get your level fours and so on right which is actually pretty nice so we're actually going to be going in here today i would prefer if i had one that was uh weak to water since i mostly have like water characters but um we'll see what we can do all right we'll actually just do let's say for example this one and usually since this one is like over 431k power my characters are strong enough but the problem is that they these uh monsters aren't weak to water so it is still going to be a little harder to fight them i guess let me just check something real quick I can use a wind weapon. I can probably try. You know, we're actually going to be doing this. No, we won't be doing that. We're actually going to be doing uh, this one. All right. Since uh, I don't have any arrow characters built. So we'll just stick with the 364. But uh, I'll be doing a stream where I would go through with water characters. Because on the water side, I actually have this up to like 500 and something K power. All right. So what I usually do, I usually go for two, since we can, uh, I think we can go up to like, only two in here, but in other areas, let's say like instance or encore, we can go up to like four attempts, all right? So I usually do two of this one and I'll do one of the other one, all right? So well, I'm going to use my strongest characters. We're going to be using uh, COG. Hmm, I don't have to use uh, her, but I'm actually going to be using her, all right? And we'll use... Uh, Alicia Blanche. All right, I'll take my window weapon and I'll also take uh, my Huntsman since it's the strongest weapon I have. I'm going to change my skills here. Since you usually have to break your shields, I'm actually going to take some breaks. I'll use this one, Dead Stance, arrow version, and I'll use the arrow version of this here. All right, let's go in. Hope everyone is having a great day. Hope Shall you guys we? are having a great time on Soul 11 as well. All right. So our first boss is fours. 
Let's take him out. I should have used the Huntsman first since the Huntsman would... We saw that. But it's a good thing we have uh, Jewel on the team. So he's actually really good at uh, breaking their shields. Since we have multiplayer active in this game mode. He should be dead. Alright, let's do the second round. This, this giant is always a uh, pretty strong one. So let's teleport behind him. Go immediately for a shield break. This time I'll use the Huntsman to get that extra break damage on my moves. Well, some. I think I just wasted my. Uh, I didn't need to summon those guys. Seems like my characters are actually strong enough to do the other one, but. We'll take what we get, it's fine. This still counts to your mallet system. I'm pretty sure. Let's see, where is Force? The confusing part about here is that I can't see anything. So I don't even know where the Force is. Oh, there it is. Let's try and get the. Let's hit him with this. Here we get. The best thing about my Huntsman, I think I have it at like 2 or 3. So, when I shoot him with the first shot, it actually stops him from doing whatever he's doing. I would seem like even though I'm playing, I have auto turned on, so let me turn that off real quick. I did not realize that. Break his shield. Hit him with this. Oh, I didn't even have to hit him with that. It was a good fight. But yeah guys, that's pretty much how you uh You just need to go in with your strongest characters, man, and just do work. Alright. So like I said guys, if you're new, give give me a support and I'll actually be able to take care of you guys, give you guys some codes. I stream solo leveling uh maybe once a week, so you guys should stop by and say hello sometimes, alright? Thank you for watching this video and do have a great day. Alright?